sing the Hebrew alphabet, a song for everyone. It's going to be quite simple, cause all you'll have to do is sing the letters after us. Then we'll sing after you. Shalom. I'm Rabbi Don Levy, and I welcome you to Jewish Journeys. Most of us who attended Hebrew school as a child do not remember it as being especially fun. For most of us, it was a problematic obligation. We wanted to be elsewhere in the afternoons after regular school and on Sunday mornings. Whilst most Hebrew school teachers have only good intentions, few are well-trained. And apart from the prize of a bar mitzvah held up before us, we could hardly see the application of what we were learning. But the truth is that full participation in a community of Jews requires at least some Hebrew. The communal worship service is held at least partly and perhaps mostly or even totally in Hebrew. The proportion varies from place to place and depends on how traditional the synagogue is, but all synagogue life incorporates some Hebrew. It is the language of the Torah and most of the Tanakh, the Holy Scriptures. Most of the sacred and semi-sacred literature was written in Hebrew and Aramaic, a close cousin. Jews in the state of Israel speak Hebrew as their everyday language, and many Jews around the world speak some Hebrew. There is a distinct vocabulary of Jewish life, and most of its words are from Hebrew. For all these reasons, every Jew should have some ability to use Hebrew. At the very least, one should be able to read in Hebrew with some comprehension. For those contemplating conversion to Judaism, their sponsoring rabbi might require it. But acquiring Hebrew seems to many to be a formidable task. And what about those who are not Jewish? Christians who are serious about their faith should also consider learning to read Hebrew. After all, some two-thirds of the Christian scriptures consist of the Jewish scriptures, the Tanakh, what my Christian friends call the Old Testament. As mentioned before, most of the Tanakh is in Hebrew. It's true that there are many translations to choose from today, and one's faith can survive and grow without knowing a word of Hebrew or Greek, the language of the New Testament. But many religious leaders, Christian and otherwise, make many assertions as to what the scriptures say. Is it not the sign of a person of a mature and abiding faith that he or she can check such assertions? It certainly is in Jewish circles, and to my understanding, it is so in Christian circles as well. Therefore, Whilst learning Hebrew carries a strong imperative for the Jew, it is an important goal also for Christians. Although our organization is called Jewish Journeys, we certainly invite Christians to avail themselves of our Hebrew and other classes. Experts in educational theory tell us that any language study undertaken as an adult is more difficult than for a child. Added to this is the reality that most adults lead very busy lives and language study requires some commitment of time and energy. There are so many factors conspiring to make an attempt to learn a language as an adult a daunting and frustrating task. I won't kid you. I don't have a magic pill that will make it easy. 
But having learnt Hebrew myself only as an adult, I understand the challenges. And I have over 25 years of experience in teaching adults Hebrew. I therefore have a sense of what works and what does not. One thing that definitely does not work for adults to learn is to be in lockstep. This is the biggest pitfall of adult Hebrew classes where the teacher is governed by a strict mindset to cover the material. Some adult students simply need more time to chew it over. If you take these students and force them forward, they'll get helplessly mired and left behind. There needs to be some flexibility in the pace of the class. Whilst it is important to match a group of students well regarding their starting point and their goals, it is also important to have flexibility in pacing the course to the speed of the slowest student. At the other end of the scale, what almost never works is self-teaching. This, despite the profusion of tools available for the silicon chips we carry around today. In a way, the apps for our mobile devices make learning language more difficult. They feed the mindset that learning should be instant and painless, and they do not apply the discipline of accountability. A small number of individuals can learn a language effectively on their own, but most of us need accountability to our teacher and classmates. I know that I certainly have whenever I've set out to learn a new language. Right now, Jewish Journeys offer Hebrew reading courses at two levels. Our first course, Basic Hebrew Reading, is for those who are at the absolute beginning, or perhaps they learnt long ago and forgot most or all of what they learnt. Basic Hebrew Reading will introduce you to all the Hebrew letters and vowels at an easy pace, allowing you to practice reading with the accumulated set before adding the next elements. And you'll learn the principles of pronunciation. The goal of Basic Hebrew is to get a good start in learning this language. Additionally, it is to establish a basis so that with regular attendance at service, one can read or sing along in Hebrew with the congregation. You'll begin to build a vocabulary of prayer and Jewish life. You'll have a basis for additional study if you desire to pursue it. Basic Hebrew reading meets for 10 weeks. All necessary course materials are provided. Our second course, Intermediate Biblical Hebrew is for those who can already recognize the characters and sound words out. In this course, you'll learn a simplified grammar of the Hebrew, of the Torah and Tanakh. You'll build a vocabulary of the words encountered in the scriptures. You'll learn to distinguish between nouns, adjectives, adverbs, pronouns, prepositions, and the like, and you'll see how they behave in sentences. This is the course for those who want to really read and understand the scriptures. But that said, we won't teach you as if you were a university student looking for upper division credits and perhaps contemplating graduate study. We'll focus on the knowledge necessary to achieve the goal of reading comprehension. Along the way, we'll take plenty of time out from the theoretical to actually read Hebrew text. Intermediate Biblical Hebrew meets for nine months. Students must individually purchase the texts, Basics of Biblical Hebrew, Second Edition, both Grammar and Workbook by Gary DePractico and Miles V. Van Pelt. The books are published by Zondervan and are available at Christian bookstores and online. These books will be supplemented by other materials which we'll provide. 
our Hebrew class courses are delivered via two formats. Those who live on or near the Gold Coast in Australia may wish to enroll in our classes that meet in a conventional face-to-face -face format in a classroom. For those who are unable to meet in person, we offer the courses also via video teleconferencing using Skype. Having taught the courses many times via both delivery methods, we find little difference in the quality of interaction between teacher and students. The differences are far more dependent upon the personalities of all involved than where they happen to be sitting. Our classes are priced very reasonably compared to other private tuition. This to enable most students to take advantage of them. Our fee for either course is $20 Australian per class session, payable on the first day of each month for all sessions to be held that month. That way, the student is not asked to make a long-term commitment in case their plans change. This compares very favorably with a well-known internet-based provider of Hebrew courses, which charges upwards of $50 per lesson and requires payment for several months in advance. Additionally, students of the provider in question have found themselves frustrated by classes formed of students not well matched to one another and a relentless pace of instruction that takes no account to students' individual learning styles. We are more concerned about the teaching of the individual and we would rather our students finish the course because they are finding it edifying rather than because they've made a huge financial commitment they don't wish to abandon. Acquiring some Hebrew language is an almost unavoidable part of a satisfying Jewish journey. It is our goal to make that acquisition as painless and enjoyable as possible. We certainly invite your consideration to enroll in our basic Hebrew reading or intermediate biblical Hebrew courses. If you'd like to enroll or would like more information, we invite you to contact us via our website. I'm Rabbi Don Levy for Jewish Journeys. Shalom.